Hello YouTube, welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Valinor is here with me and Cyber Canadian from my chat is joined. Is joined, has joined, whatever. Yes, Hello indeed. Yeah, we were doing the G rank fade four last time, and right? And Discord is Oh yeah. This I think so. Discord is still getting like in and out. Yeah. I, I noticed it dropped down to orange yeah. there a little bit. Had to do that today, huh? Uh, let's see. Yes. G rank. We never did G rank Astalos yet, so let's do that to start with. Yuck. Yuck indeed. His G rank attack is the one where he sticks his tail in the ground, right? And sends out, like, pulses. I have no idea. I haven't hmm. fought him in G rank yet. I think that's what it is. I vaguely remember. Hmm. Got a Gamato Ice Orb last time. <clears throat> Probably should have started with something a bit easier to warm up, especially because I'll be pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine, Discord! I think I found him. Yep, there he is. Okay, you kill him and we'll stand over here. Oh, I forgot to put on doggle cam as well when I was nipping to the loo during the break. Also, just trying to find my way there as well. Oh, yeah, okay. He flies, then sticks his tail in the ground and zaps. That's the one, yeah. Resulting in a stun. Yeah, it's nasty. Okay, remember to put Doggle Cam on after this hunt. Or maybe when he leaves I'll there. Try. That's a very, Probably. very small one. No offense to the right, but still. Oh right, I'm the Shiro star. I forgot. <laughs> no barrel food for you. Oh, then trigger it. It's okay. I, I remembered before it mattered. No, oh, no. Out. It, it was an AoE. I couldn't remember if it was an AoE or a line. It's getting pretty charged up. Yep. So how hyped are you for the Bethesda E3 conference? Uh, they've gone on the record as saying the new Elder Scrolls isn't going to be shown, their new IP isn't going to be shown. Yep. So, What's going to be shown then? Because that's all they have. Mm, probably a lot of them trying to salvage Fallout 76 if I had to guess. Oh yeah, and probably the new Doom thingy. Oh Sorry, yeah, no. yeah. That's about the time that comes out. Man. Rathalos Thrash. Classic. And he is. Wow, the range on that. The range on what? Thrash. Oh. Get all the way over there. Don't pick on the newbies. Zeppo's been pondering whether he should buy a Switch and this or food. Hmm. There are rumours that at E3 Nintendo's going to be revealing two new versions of the Switch, so if you wanted to just get the original version you'd be able to get it cheaper if you wait a little bit. Yes. It does assume that's announced that the value is going to drop dramatically. Yep. Because there's a lot of like fanboys who would sell their old Switch just to buy the new version. Correct. There's also a lot of design flaws with the current version of the Switch, most notably the overheating issues. All is done. Yep. It's very electric. You took one look at me then thought, nah, I'm gonna go shoot someone else now. Oh. You split the beams, you bitch. Zapped me out of the air. On my screen, he was nowhere near you when he did that. 
he was facing like in totally the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh no, I don't mean you would be able to buy the original more. model from Nintendo cheaper. I just mean that like second hand you'll be able to get it cheaper. Yep. Like Although they might try and sell off their units because they're starting to see the the power in having pay for online. So I think they just want to shift units as a means by which to get that stuff out there. I mean, it's basically free money for them because they're not having to provide any service again. Correct, yeah. I find it amazing that Tetris 99 is free and has literally no monetization. Yep, that's, that's the one impressive thing they've done. I guess they just want it as a lost leader to push the online. Because you need the online, I guess, which does have a cost. Isn't one of the new versions going to be a cheaper version without the dock? I don't know, I just heard that there was new versions. You need the dock, unless you want to play mobile only. You want to buy a more expensive 3DS? Although, to be fair to them, that would fix the overheating issues. <laughs> because the overheating issues happen when it's in the dock. Yeah. But then again, also about time they replaced the 3DS because that's been around like forever. I don't even remember if they're still manufacturing the 3DS. Yeah, I think they do, they just cancelled the 2DS. Oh, alright. That's the one they got rid of. I think they're still making 3DS. If you're only interested in it as a handheld and you think one of the new versions is a dockless version, then obviously wait for that. Because it'll be cheaper. <clears throat> I'm sure something has come out of the 3DS recently, but I, let me check. I would not be surprised if there's already third-party docks, because all the dock is is a USB connector with an HDMI and a power plug. It's a big hunk of plastic with nothing in it. Yep, the, there's a crap ton of games to the... well, not a crap ton, just a bunch of them. Kirby's Extra Epic Year. A crap ton Something of games at what? Like a bunch of games came out of the 3DS recently. Oh. So it's, I guess they are gonna keep it alive for now. Yeah, he went a little bit robotic, it's not his fault, it's bloody Discord. I did my free service have issues. It is a little, yeah. Somehow it's worse than during Gen Zero. Kill off. I don't know what video it was on, but someone commented on YouTube today. I miss your months on our days. I resisted the temptation to reply, motherfucker, I've been playing it every Saturday for years. <laughs> like locally recorded or something, as if that makes a difference. I took that one on the very first part I did of 4... yeah, 4 Ultimate, it must have been just asking how did you capture this? And that might be like people who discovered Monster Hunter via World and they're going back through older ones, I guess. I think 4 is regarded as... Capture card installed. 4 is regarded better than Gen. Or I mean, I guess, card. yeah. 4 Ultimate is considered better. Although for me it's about even. I don't mind the styles and the, the things. Hmm. And I've replied, well, they wouldn't be asking if I still played or implying I don't play Monster Hunter if they were familiar with all the Monster Hunter videos I still put up. And it's not even that long ago that I did episodic solo stuff. When World came out, I did solo stuff. I remember staying up until 1am getting the first couple videos out. 
even did like a bridge stuff, Gen Hulk. Yes, I tried that and then they didn't do well, so I didn't do them anymore. That was my attempt at doing short term content for anyone who might have wanted that, as opposed to the general long term stuff I do. I prefer a long form. I like having background noise. Yep, same. Although I will say, I, I watch I watch many channels that do 40k battle reports. And there's one that does like <laughs> two to three hour battle reports, and I'm totally fine with that if the entirety of it was them doing literally every roll. But usually what the first hour of it is, is just them yammering. Not being entertaining, not saying anything insightful. It takes them half an hour to do each army list because they just go off on tangents and tangents and tangents. Oof, that's that's annoying. And it's exceptionally unwatchable. I always skip. And they're entertaining enough when they're playing the game. It's just I don't understand why they think their opinion is so high that they need to talk for an hour before playing a game that people want to watch. Because most of the people watching don't care. They want to see it being played. They don't want to hear you musing about the units. Or creating like ridiculous backstories. I mean, if they go into the like the meta game a little bit of which units are like good now or bad now, that would interest me a little bit. But an hour of it would be too much, I feel. Yeah, they do talk. Like, some get that tactics. out of the way in ten minutes and then get on with the game, please. They get early copies of new books from Games Workshop, so sometimes that's why they, they spend so long. But they have an individual video set where they cover tactics. So I don't I don't see it. It just feels very egotistical. And the reason they got my gore up especially is because in one of the most recent videos they mentioned, oh hey, people are saying they don't really like this. Just skip. And then they say, yeah, just skip ahead like 25 minutes and you'll be fine. It was a fucking hour and a half. That you had to skip ahead to get to the start <laughs> of the match. At that point, a huge annotation would be useful, but I think they got rid of annotations. On screen annotations are not a thing, but like pinned comments would be a thing. Yeah. Or just in the video because description would be a thing. Then you could just flash one of those old annotations over the screen with like giant text skip to yep. this point. For the... Because I'm sure some people like to hear them, yeah. Oh yeah, clearly some people do, otherwise they would have stopped when they were first getting started. You still there? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. It just it, it wasn't just like it didn't sound like you were just not talking, it sounded like it went dead. I, I got a gem. Happens. I got a mantle. That was indeed a gold crown small. Yep. Oof. Oh, yep. Yes, thank you for reminding me. She's actually just kind of lying there oh, very camera. adorably. Where the camera is looking. Oh, so it's less than two weeks until Iron Rain. It is. Time and that pipe. super bizarre eight minute trailer. Yep, that, that trailer was very EDF. And also slightly sexist. Just a tiny little bit. Implying but that weapon, again, women game, can't so use it. large guns without the help of an exosuit. And... Hang on. I, I told you she was just lying down adorably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's bloody psychic! She darted up, like, oh shit, I'm being watched. <laughs> Looked at the camera, then ran off. <laughs> nice. So what has Cyber posted? Where the wild mains are? Uh, okay. Okay, ah, sure, I haven't done this one. <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I think, don't think we mind. have either, but why a hyper Ludroth? Probably needs one of the, the G rank hyper class to upgrade his weapon. Oh, that's my yeah. guess. Yeah, that's, that would not surprise me. And that is fairly important. Yeah, he said he I needs have an bits. upgraded weapon. 
Please don't come over and lick my hand. You were, you were being fine just lying there. I'm sorry the chat woke you up. It's very rude of them. <laughs> oh yeah, are you gonna go back and play Borderlands 1 Remat? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Even if you get it free, if you have it on the normal one on Steam or... I don't think I have the normal one on Steam. I played on console. Well, then there is no chance. <clears throat> has it been revealed yet who has written Borderlands 3? I don't think so. But that's, I have that's... no hopes for it because I hated the writing and drove me up the wall. If it isn't written by Anthony Birch, I will buy it second hand and play it. Ludroff is gonna be in seven, possibly. That's my guess. Mm, I'm checking up the waterfall area. Yes, it did add guns with legs. Zone. Nope, yeah. Because I'm gonna be in seven in a second. You're gonna be in what? Seven. Area seven. Oh, right. And he's here. Ah. Hyper on face and tail, so basically all of his strong now. What are you doing to your bed, dog? Whoop. There, chat, you tell me if she starts wrecking her bed. Yeah, you've been watched. Wait, Assassin's Creed 3 got a remaster? The hell? Yeah, I remember hearing about that. I don't know what they remastered. They sure as hell didn't fix the terrible main character. I think 3 had the best multiplayer, possibly. So that might be good if no. it comes back. No, Brother, Brotherhood had the best multiplayer. Uh -huh. 3 was okay. It was a, they like corrected their kind of tampering with it and made it much more like the original version of the multiplayer. I'll be overexcited and pooping. She's bloody pooping. She got overexcited too much. Damn it, chat. Also, I forgot to buy potions because I'm using potions finally. I'm zoning real quick while I go clean that up. Yep. Do it. a sec. He's following you. Do you have a problem? No, we're not. Never mind. Not only looked like he was following. A toy. I zoned into the wrong place. Oh wait, no I didn't. It's fine. So I accidentally zoned into a little mushroom cave. Or crystal cave, I mean. Do you have any interest in the Sega Genesis Mini? Well, it depends what games are on it. I'm trying to find out. Uh, Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, Space Harrier 2, Shining Force, mm. uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> I remember that one. 
Toadjam and Earl, Comic Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ultimate Beast, and Gunstar Hero. Nah. The only game I'd care about there is Shining Forces. <clears throat> you can get ROMs of the super early Shining Force game, so. Yeah. I mean, on the ROM sites that Nintendo hasn't nuked. Well, yeah. But don't tell them that. True, true. Meow. Did he leave to sleep or is he still alive? And he seems in good health. <laughs> oh, damn, he dodged me. I jumped in the wrong goddamn side of that. Hey, okay, you got the Corey. tail off. Oh, I forgot I to ask. I forgot the Astalos Astalos tail. Cora, are you still here? I wanted to ask if you like the look of Risk of Rain 2. Because it is 4 player. Is Cora still here? Or is he already playing I think, I think he left. Generation 0? Who's real friends that are a bad His influence on him? Splat, splat, splat. Oh yeah, he's got the damn water bottles now. The, the, the thicker rounds, I remember though. Those are his spawn pawns. Oops, overshot a little bit. You can get 59 Sega Mega Drive and Genesis games on Steam for 30 euros. He raises a good point. There's a much bigger collection that's yep. cheaper on Steam. True, true. But it doesn't have Shining Force. Probably does, to be honest. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, my special. Also, no there. offense, trick shot. Headshot if you're still here, but I'm pretty sure I can get your age on just my fingers and toes based on what you just said. I don't have many children in my chat, so it makes it much easier to spot. Uh, it One and two. Okay, so there's absolutely no reason to buy the Sega Genesis Mini unless you can load like ROMs onto it. Steam isn't a, as big a thing in Japan, or at least it wasn't, so maybe they're just hoping for that kind of market more so than Western. You have maybe. the extra copy of Risk of Rain 2 if Kurt wants it? Well, he isn't here, but I'll try and remember and ask him. Be a fun death, did you carve the tail? I, apparently, I did. I have no memory of doing it. I must have done it instinctively. Yeah, okay. That makes sense if it's bigger in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's not meant for us. <clears throat> I got a terrible, like, press release email the other day for a dating website just for gamers. Capital Gamers. Yes. What's up, fellow gamers? Let's do Yeah, I, I can think of a lot of things that are wrong about trying to target that particular demographic for dating. Yes. Let's see if I can see the email. Because I don't think I deleted it. I think I kept it for posterity to keep an eye on it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, did I delete it? No, oh, no, no, there it that is. Good, no, I found it. I like your YouTube channel and we'd like to invite you to take part in the launch of what the website's called, the world's first dating service for gamers. Isn't a joke email? Gamer. <laughs> I wonder if I needed those hyper claws. We'd like to give you a premium key so you can try out the service. Or a friend if you're not single, lol! Let's 
that's actually what they wrote. Oof, we've, oof. we've been coding the site for eight years and we're launching on May 1st. Let's work together. We'd love to get your users unsingle. We have 350,000 beta users who love using our platform. It'd be great if you could partner up. We'd be happy to pay for a campaign on a cost per lead basis across all your social media. This means that for every user that signs up to the website from your channel, we'd give you 20 cents. Wow, how <clears throat> generous. Uh, no, or, or if you'd like to go deeper, there's another option. 20% of every subscription, because it's a pay for site, presumably. Of course it is. <clears throat> Let's see, if you work on a cost campaign, we're happy to discuss it too. Yeah, whatever. Or if you'd like to review us to do an interesting story, we'd happily, uh, happily arrange some kind of podcast or interview. What do you think? We're really open to your ideas on what your viewers are going to love about us. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's going to be hard pass for me. <laughs> Oh, I have a. To console. I have a villager request that we can do. All right. I know it's yeah, nice to to find prospective so. partners who have the same interests as you, but I didn't think like not being into games was I ever a game don't... a deal breaker. Rather. Yeah, I don't think basing it around like gaming would be the best. Hmm. Thank you for the bits, mostly dead zombie. Mm. Greetings, human. Mm. Thank you for the entertainment. You're welcome, zombie. Mm. Ooh. Gonna shoot you with a shotgun one day. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. There was a dating website that was specifically for people who wanted to cheat on their spouses. And then karma happened. I forgot to store up all my potions again. Karma happened and all the details leaked by hackers who wanted to break in and post all the names of people who were looking to cheat. I think that was by design. Wait, you think they deliberately made it hackable? No, I think they deliberately released the information. It sunk the website, though. I think that was the plan to begin with. Oh, really? Maybe there's more to it than I heard, mm -hmm. then. Must have found the big fish. Well, really fish. It's more a frog. Fish frog. Shark frog. Chat, yeah, remind me to restore my potions after this. I'm probably going to have to use a mega potion. Embarrassing. Oh, yeah, most dating sites are filled with largely men and also bots to make the user count look higher. Yeah. Also, if you were to meet someone who was also a gamer, wouldn't you meet them while gaming rather than browsing a dating website? I mean, probably. Uh, of course. That oh, was his that's his G rank attack. I was like, what the hell is he doing? I was waiting for the pounce. He does a little shifting beam. Well, and to scam people, yes. The less known thing about dating websites is that they make some money on the side by selling your information. Of course they do. Because information is valuable. Knowledge is power, guard it well. Or spend it by like selling it to people. You jokes on them your info is useless. I mean you might still be useful for like statistical analysis. Yep. Like for like humans in general, so there's always like. Uh, you're you you think you're vice president human, do you? Hmm. Let's see. He's gonna do the the beam thing again. Ah, I rolled too early because I thought his tail would catch me.
Is that a ball sack mode? No? No? Nope. It just got back up because his tail broke. Oh yeah, that is came off. Fell over, I can't in my face. <laughs> It'd be cool to have a website that links to your League of Legends account. Oh, this leads into a joke. I can't read it right now because I'm about to get death beamed. I didn't go really fast enough because he started his death beam on the side. I didn't think he was going to start that. Okay, yes. You're totally human and not Nurglings jumping up and down on the keyboard. Hang on, so scan your information, legal legends, and have a. Information based on reviews. Oh, look that people give you after a match, I see. That would be a terrible idea. Absolutely. And anyone still supporting the game after what they did to their female employees uh, should be ashamed of themselves. I'm amazed they're still in business after that, honestly. Uh, they are too big to fail at this point, also 10. Anything come from that? The lawsuit, the lawsuit is ongoing, as far as I'm aware. Lawsuits take a while. Ah, I see. I think Riot is still owned by Ten. <clears throat> yes, they are. Well, no, wait. Owned or just part owned? No, well, no, it's part ownership, isn't it? It's a, it's a PUBG type situation. Majority acquired by Tencent. Oh, so okay, they have the majority now. It's owned by. So yeah, they got unlimited money. Possibly there. <clears throat> Foxy, we've talked about it before, back when it was the lawsuit was first filed, but just like Google Riot Games lawsuit ongoing female workers, you can find all the information you need. Was that the company with like photoshops of employees? <coughs> yes. Wait, well, no, that no, that was Quadric Dreams, I think. That was David Cage's group that did that. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'm getting well, confused because yeah, yeah, they're, they're both now, terrible. Yes, yes. This was something else. I don't quite remember what though. But it was something. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Unfair dismissal, just like being treated as objects. There was much more serious stuff. I think there was an allegation of sexual assault, but I don't remember. I was reading a thread on the Twitch subreddit today about a partner who felt they were they thought they were being stalked when someone saw their partnered hoodie, which is apparently a thing that some people can get. I didn't know I was entitled to free swag for being a partner. I, I didn't hear half of that because of Discord. Can you but start it over? On the Twitch subreddit, there was a thread by a, a Twitch partner who was worried that they were being stopped because someone saw her wearing her Twitch partner hoodie out in public. Now the comments weren't 100% on that, it sounded more like maybe it's just that she's a small lady by herself in a big car and what she was wearing was irrelevant. People might have just saw her as an easy target. But she did describe a scenario where someone followed her home behind her car. Yeah, that's terrifying. Yes. And thankfully, a neighbor turned up and they they fled the scene. And her belief was they saw her partner today, and for whatever reason, made made her a target because of that. Other people saying it's probably just because you were you looked alone, and they followed you because of that. Still scarier either way. It's also yeah, it's also <clears> a possibility. I mean, 
purple hoodies aren't exclusive to Twitch, they're just rare. Yeah. Uh, but apparently her one says like partner on the back. They probably give them to partners who turn up at like TwitchCon and stuff, so I ain't ever gonna get one. I wouldn't mind a purple hoodie. To go to TwitchCon. That sounds terrible. Yep. Puking? No. Yeah. Channel Awesome was pretty bad. No, oh, they lost everybody though. Yeah. Rightfully so. Oh. Yeah. He keeps on bouncing backwards instead of forwards. What he does in chi rank keeps jumping backwards and then rolling forward. Mm. There we go. Imagine yeah, if Bill has it. been in jail, I think. Yeah, he can't do any acting while in jail. I forgot how long his sentence was, but I assume he's gonna die. Given his current age, I don't think it matters. Oh, come on. I hate when Bushiro doesn't activate when it should. I hit him the spinny bit. Ah. I keep on thinking it's going to come slow and then it just it goes fast. Yeah, I don't have the timing down on me. Oh, decided to sign up for that gaming website and our gamer dating website. Nope. Yeah, Ball sack mode. Probably a scam. Probably. At worst, a scam. At best, incredibly naive. Apparently there's some new sitcom coming to British television about gamers as well. I was reading that on the BBC website. Doing the whole... No, no, really, we're, we're not making fun of gamers. We're embracing the culture. Right. Sora, what are you crying at? It doesn't ignore you, but if you brought me something to throw, I'd throw it. Growing more red, rather. Yep, he's gonna do something. First, he's gonna roll over. He's gonna do that right out. No, spitting. Oh, no. Nope. Spitting would have been preferable. Stuck. Limp. Come on, yeah. limp, you bastard. It's his rim limping, not limping. She did bring me something to throw. She knows what that means. Is that website even up? I'm gonna see if it's up. Let's see here. Don't play any kind of ad or music. It's gonna play something. The hell is that? Ge oh my god. <laughs> I, d I kinda don't wanna give them clicks, but at the same time, the. Pretend the, game, tacky. the pretend game backdrop they have is so hideous. It's a bunch bunch of soldiers making the colon D face. 
<laughs> what? what are you laughing at? I haven't even shown you yet. I can, I can imagine. Okay, what is realistic though? There's about 500 men and three ladies. Alright, yeah, I'm not doing it as a link. Just please do it. Oh, I didn't copy the link over, apparently. Please do it as an incognito link or something. That is probably still going to turn it into a link if I paste it in. No, it might not. Probably. That, that, oh, it did. Let's find out what it is. Private window. Oh. What the hell is this? You can even go one classification deeper, and it's not okay to just get with someone who's also into games. You match up based on your gaming preferences. Oh, you can match up using favorite games. Yes. What? What? So if I ever wanted to become a Fortnite serial killer, this would be my gateway drug. This is terrible. But yeah, scroll back up to the top and look at the three knights. On the yep. right, top right, those are the ones calling D faces. There it is. Right, I'm remembering so far to fill up potions. Yes, Seeker of Dark reminded you. Ah, thank you. <clears throat> and to be fair, they obviously couldn't use like a, a copywritten game thing. But, Maybe but get a better yeah, artist, guess. though? I mean, it's, it's medium to low budget, I guess. For the size of the piece. I like that the banner says the world's number one gaming site as if there's more than one. I can't buy mega potions, so. So, what should we go after now? <clears throat> I have no idea. Okay, hang on, I will pick something from the tier we're up to then. Oh. Or the tier before, oh, that one was from the tier before. Oh yeah, there's a couple of... Yeah, we can do that one, that's a villager request, why not? So notable, Daimyo Harmatar. <clears throat> Did you? Yes. Did you? I moved the camera and she immediately stopped playing and rolling around in her bed. It's like she knows. Oh, hello. <laughs> she poked between my legs. Hello, I see you. What? Yes, hello. <clears throat> yeah, the Gungeon update comes out in six days. Yep, next Friday. Hmm. Yeah, spawn in the secret zone, but who cares? So, where would the crap be? In the water caves. Mm, yeah, probably find out. Yeah. Oh, this is my next painting nope. to do. In the area before the one the crab. Uh, Improvise. <clears throat> that is the plague surgeon for the death guard. Their version of apothecary. No, <laughs> <laughs> You can't have my controller. Piss off. No. Back up. It's not your controller. It's my controller. Also, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. So 
It's alright. What are you sniffing at? Smash your butt. Mm hmm, I did. Didn't seem to care though. Hey, I picked the right way, finally. Not nice of you to join us. I had doggo related distractions. The crab is angry. Crab. Crab. We overshot each other. Is this G rank thing that he moves while doing that? Yes, I think. And he can combo some. Moves into split. So I don't remember which one. Mm. Just a split second, not even a second. Yeah. Or too late, rather. That was a little weird. Yep. Was. Comboing me, jeez. Could be worse, it could be a Shogun Hornet Oh. Never mind, it's Kill. not worse. Ah, typically just got stunned as well. First step uh, forever. Can't even meet to get my max health back. Oh yeah. Although to be honest, if in world is annoying, the yes you can eat, but oh no, you've got to wait ten minutes. Hmm. He's doing his underground thing, so oh no, he's. <laughs> Grab cyber. cyber. No ETs, no munchies. Okay, Sora's doing the thing again, but I'm going to very subtly move the camera this time and she's not going to notice. She, did. she was facing the wrong way. Just going ham on the cover. She's beating the crap out of it. She's shadow boxing it. That's how she trains. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber. Has the jump. It's butt got the yeah. hyper damage. I was like, yeah, it does have it, but what are the chances of him doing a butt stomp? I guess it has a higher chance if he has that powered up. Probably. This is gonna be close. Oof. Almost got swiped by a power up claw. It's not an orc. I didn't say power claw, I said powered up claw. Oh. For a long. Just gonna move and spray. And spray again, probably, yeah. Oh. Spraying. 
Nightmare under that move. Maybe that was from the, uh, the Lightning Blue Hermitor variant. Could have been, yeah. Called. Wait, you mean in the Shogun or are you mean in the actual like football armored one? No, the version of this one that's bluish or purplish. Mm. Oh, I need to sharpen. It's oh, sorry, you got the ball stuck back there. Kill that ball. You show sure who's boss. Shooting, watch out. Oh, oh. Got him, what? Got him away from the entrance, that's good. Oh, the water's moving us, isn't it? Wait, is it? I felt like I got shifted by the water there. I don't think so. This point's move, it's not on his butt anymore. Chasing it this power clock. I did say power clock. I was gonna say that power. time you said it, yeah. it back to the same goddamn place. I think you'll be limping when you get some. Something broke there. Yep, the the claw. Oh, she actually got it out herself. That was risky. The horn. Oh, it's the horn? box closer under the desk so she can't push the ball in there again. <clears throat> Anthem is still broken but that's not news, that's just the way things go sometimes. There's a new Overcooked 2 DLC coming up. Sometime. Say a time Wait, a DLC for what? Sorry, I missed that part. Overcooked DLC. Oh, another new one. Well, you know, if they're getting a brand new DLC, then that means they might put the current one on sale. I doubt it, but we will see. As a gateway drug. Got a rushing comment on a video, so I'm making sure it's nothing bad. Oh, it is bad. It's someone insulting me in Russian, thinking I wouldn't check what it says. Hmm. Like, do they not know Google Translate is a thing? I want to do Basarios. Ah, Basarios is easy. Take on this DLC. April. Uh, uh, <laughs> April. Uh, next month, the 18th. 
Yeah, that month. The, ne the next month. Yeah. Yes. This will be a quick one. It's just a Volvo on, yeah. Clearly not smart enough to think that I'd check Google Translate. Goodbye, prick. Banned from channel. There we go. Nice and simple. There's also a Cephalo in here. Wait, no, actually, it may just be a Cephalo. Cephadrome's like a, a, a darker colour, right? Yeah, it's a Cephalo. Also hard. A lot large. Still annoying, though. Mm-hmm. It's two of them. Things are getting out of hand. Shame if they got caught in the crossfire. Yep. Ah, I forgot the tongue was a wasn't just straightforward. It was an arc. I think Generation Zero or Risk of Rain will do better in the Sunday Bowl. Why not? Well, they might end up both being first and second, but which one do you think would be first? I'm gonna say Risk of Rain. Because you've played it less. True, but there's also less to it. Some people might not have seen it yet, but then it would be a new game, so mm -hmm. they would want that play. My bet is going to be Generation Zero, but I, I think he would be right if it ended up being both of them that won it. Is Apex going to be on the pole? Nah, not if I can fill it with enough other stuff. I don't like playing it on the weekends with too many children. Although that last time we were playing it was a weekday and <laughs> it did terrible there, but that wasn't the opponents. I was too busy yammering to chat about my failing career. And we had fairly boring matches, we didn't run into anybody until like it was the end of a few. Did you know we won't vote Red Dead Redemption 2? Fairly sure. That's probably a sure bet that that's not gonna win. Because it won't be on the poll. Correct. Play a game you don't have. Or one. If you have it, or. Nope. Don't want to play it on stream. I don't want to play it full stop. I wouldn't mind if Sekiro got first or second just to knock it out. I think one more session will be enough to be done with it. You say that, but it won but last still... Sunday. Eh, I think the hype is over for it. Last Sunday, I just liked it sleep. even more. Just 
write in ballot. We don't have write in ballots. Final Fantasy 7 and it's finally on the... Are you gonna buy it now? Wait, I missed the on block, but I assume you mean, mean switch, because it's always switch. Yes. The switch. No, I've... An ancient game. I've played through Final Fantasy 7. I wouldn't be surprised if it was that much, yeah. Yeah, I think Final Fantasy 7 is the one I've played the most of. I probably put them, well, not counting the MMOs, obviously, because that's cheating. No, counting the MMOs, yeah. yeah. That's cheating, because then it would be 11, and then 14, then maybe 7. I probably did play Final Fantasy 7 the most, but it would be close between that and 8. I'm sure I played through Final Fantasy 7 just leisurely a, n a number of times. I played through 8 in Japanese, in American, English, and then the English version on PC when that came out. No wait, or vice versa. I think I played the American PC version. That's a couple of times. That was back when Europe got games like six months after America. And I'm very impatient. never beat 8 when it came out, I just like went back like a couple of years ago to beat it, and that's the only times I've played it. Did you kill the weapons? Yes, I did. So, I took great pride in having a screenshot of the, the splash screen you get for beating the second one. Even though I just did the cheese strat that you basically gotta do to beat it. You wanna know how I beat I mean the the weapon eight. How? I just used selfies limit break at the end. Oh, okay. Well, that's. We did turn two. Yeah. That's much quicker <laughs> than yep. spamming Not aura lucky. and the item you get for turning Laguna's card into like night and night of item that makes you invincible. Drinks, yeah, that, I, I just spammed those, so that's you were a mortal. And it was just a matter of time. I remember being ill and playing Final Fantasy VII once and falling asleep while playing it and my mother waking me up saying, uh, you left your game on, there was a gold bird near you, I don't know what it was. I, I was I was just grinding uh -oh. fights. No, it, it was just, it wasn't, it was my Jacobo. It wasn't like, I wasn't looking for a spawn. Ah, uh, I see. Thankfully. That's that's good, at least. I was outside that island town in the south of the map, just grinding fights, I think. I don't know how I, I, don't know how I can remember that so vividly. Calls. I don't remember what the town is called either, I just remember doing Medeal? it. Medeal? Is that it? I, I, I don't know. You could say any word and I wouldn't remember. I just, for whatever reason, remember that specific moment, because I, I think it was the first time I ever fell asleep yep. without ever trying to be falling asleep. It was just the illness just made me get burnt out. Yep, M I D E E F is the mm. town at the very south end of the map. That's the that's the town spoilers that gets destroyed by a, by a weapon and falls into the live stream. Yes, that's the one. <clears throat> spoilers. Spoilers for a twenty year old game, twenty five year old game. That's getting like that. released. Well, just got released on the Switch, or it is, and then it's got that remake version. Yeah, but we won't see that until like 2022, at least, if not later than They'll keep it's in development it off, yeah. again. You just can't get those right. And even then, it's probably gonna be changed a lot. They should have just remade it, translated yeah. it better, and given it, like, make them look human when they're walking around on the map, not blobs. And people would have just lapped it up. You don't like the Popeye look? No, I do not like the Popeye look, no. Well, not now. Back then it was fine. Back then it was neat that they looked so bad when you're walking around and then you get into a fight and it's like, oh, they, they look like people. That's, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I mean, I didn't mind the look back in the day. Back in the day, it was maybe even a little bit ahead of its time. Yeah, definitely. 
Hmm. Lightning doggo or lightning fish? Doggo. Let's go. Okay. Dog. You didn't know Monster Hunter Notes had that information? Monster Hunter Notes has all information. Like, I didn't actually use Google Translate to find that person and insult me, I just consulted my Hunter's Notes and there it was. Yeah. I probably would have played Final Fantasy VI a lot too, but it didn't come out in Europe until like years later. That is my slipper, dog. Hang on, can I at least get it in view of the camera? No, she ran away because she's scared of my, my wonderful slippers. Oh, there we go. She's back attacking. <laughs> that is my slipper. It's not a toy. It's my old slipper. I'm actually kind of waiting for her to destroy them because my mother gave me new ones for Christmas that I'm still not using yet. That's... It's gonna sound rude, but that's very Scottish of you. <laughs> because I'm not... I'm being uh, skin flinty, yes. So where the hell is this dog roll? Uh, probably in two. You're being ridiculous. That's my shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in the cave where the oh. things come to sleep. Thankfully, I have a map. No, unfortunately, I went not a good way to get back to you quickly. I think I have minus 25 lightning defense on this set, so this might be extremely painful. What am I sitting at with food? Six. Oh. You might want to, like, zone out if it's harassing you. We're both two zones away. I can handle a couple of tail slams. I'll live, possibly. Watch me get absolutely brutalized. Bad doggo. Both this doggo and you. Yeah, you. I'm still waiting on Square Enix to remake Final Fantasy Tactics. I would like because that. The game is just not available anymore. Oh, well, I would agree with you just like re releasing it. It doesn't really need remaking because the visual style of it, I feel, is very timeless. Yep. It got released on PSP. Maybe it got released yes, on Vita? The last time. Nope. I think PSP was the last time it got released. And that version. Massive slowdown problems because it's coded like crap. But it had new cutscenes in a retranslation. I played it. Yep. Same here. The original was never released in Europe. I had to import it from my chipped PS2. And it's the best Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Great visual style, great battle system, adult story, great music. Sadly, it doesn't emulate battle. It has a lot of problems. That's a shame. Sorry, no. No. Yep. Tactics Ogre was also quite good. I have Tactics Ogre for the PSP as well. I could never get into it because I always hated that no matter what you did, people died. And in like, like the story important characters. Yes. I remember like your princess sister or whatever turning into an evil goth lady. I think I didn't get much further than that because then they killed off my favorite knight and I was like, nah. But there's a reason for that. Oh, I never got to the reason. Shame. I also didn't like how grindy it was. Also true. Having to do the your like teams fighting each other to get XP. A little bit tedious. Oof, that 
delay on that second hit, probably that, but I got lucky. <laughs> He's sniffing the camera. Is it smell of horniness and loneliness? Because that's Twitch chat. Nice. Don't forget to carve the tail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I was really into those types of games on, on the PS. I even got one that's, that plays the same as Tactics, but it's like a French pseudo his called Jean d'Arc. I think I've heard of that one, maybe. Isn't the new crossover game between Divinity Original Sin and whatever uh, Tactics esque type thing? That's, really that's true, yeah. Kenzie isn't here, so Chat isn't that horny. Zeppel usually self contains it a lot. Through a combination of I meditation and vigorous masturbation. Oh my god, I have long enough to tell a story about what I, I forgot to tell it during Generation Zero, but it's something I've been watching on Netflix and I'm probably going to end up watching more stuff on my day off anyway. Okay. So hopefully I'll still have more stories for Isaac come Tuesday. It's a two episode program on Netflix and you chat might misconstrue what it's about based on the name, so bear with me. It's called Extreme Animal Obsessions. But it is not okay. about furries or furry community or anything like that. It's much weirder than that, no offence to those in that particular group. For example, there's a lady who purchases gigantic dead beetles from Brazil and dresses them up as movie characters. What the... Okay. Yeah, and her husband does not like this and it, it is edited to make, them, to make them all look very insane but also kind of like sad because their loved ones just can't stand them. So, oh, that did not register me pressing that button. So it cuts to her, this crazy lady who dresses Beatles up as movie characters, saying, yeah, I want to breed spiders. And then it immediately cuts to the husband having a separate interview saying, I really hate spiders the most. So as long as she just sticks with the Beatles, it's not so bad. So it, it's edited to, to, like, it is edited very heavily to make fun of the people, which is a little bit of a shame, but they are also absolutely insane. So other than the beat old lady, let's see, the first episode had a man who wanted to be a dog, but not in the furry sense and not in, like, the uh, pet play sense. But in the, I want to like, be a real... Like, literally just wants to be I... a dog, and he was married and had kids. And the wife's like, yeah, I really don't like this because he's just using it to escape from his responsibilities. And then it cuts to him being like, yeah, I'm doing it because it makes me happy. And then they bring in a psychiatrist to talk to him about it, being like, are you, are you aware that you're not making your children and your wife happy? So yeah, but it makes me happy, though. I was hoping that at the end of the episode they would do like a six months later, so-and-so left the crazy idiot. But it, it went to such extremes like he goes to a dog parlor and showers with his dog because he doesn't like taking human showers. He eats dog food, he doesn't just eat human food out of a bowl, he eats the actual dog food. Okay, that's and I feel strange. I feel a line was crossed as well at one point where he offers his daughter a little bit of it as well and she does try it, I think. I can't remember now if she tried it, but she, he definitely offers her one of his daughter's dog food. And that's, that's a little bit too far when your very obvious mental illness is Leading you to try and encourage your children to eat dog food. That is a bit of a problem, yeah. Let's see, what else was in that recommended. first episode? Um, there was a person who was on a extreme version of the paleo diet, and they were exclusively eating raw meat. Literally nothing else other than raw meat, including roadkill. And okay. it hadn't made him ill, so he was like, well, if it's not making me ill and it's keeping me healthy, why would I bother, like, changing? 
And the extremes he went to was that he would keep like brain meat and and other various bits from the things he would kill on a shelf until they turned rancid into liquid, they'd liquefy. And he'd eat that. And, uh, and it shows him ugh. eating that as well. Oof, oof, yeah. that's... It does that's also show him like eating, eating rotten meat with the maggots, adding that the maggots added to the nutritional value of the rotten meat. Right. That was the worst part. And then they take him to a doctor and the doctor's like, okay, so what are you eating? And then he shows a, a jar of liquefied cow brain. And she keeps on telling him, look, you realise you're playing Russian roulette every time you do this, right? It's just you've been getting very lucky. And he's like, well, it's not doing anything to me, though. And then she says, oh, have you been eating rabbit, raw rabbit? And he's like, yeah, amongst other things. Are you aware there's numerous diseases that specifically rabbits get, like myxomatosis, that very easily transfer if you were to consume their raw meat? And they did a follow-up about him. He was the only one the first episode did a follow-up about, and he was convinced after talking to the doctor to include some vegetables in his diet, not to eat roadkill, and not to eat the rotten stuff. But he still was just eating raw meat and nothing else than that. Yeah, he's gonna die fairly soon. Yeah, prob probably. And again, that's a shame because he is married and has kids, and his family is all with him, being like, you you really need to stop this. But no, but I'm, I'm fine. I enjoy eating raw meat. I enjoy being a cannibal. He, he did not seem of high intelligence. He also seemed a little... sociopathic? I don't know if that's a, a word. A sociopath? How do you turn sociopath into the the word for acting out on those impulses. I have no idea. Because you wouldn't say sociopath tendencies, I think. Yeah, sociopathic tendencies seems... I can't tell if anyone is being sarcastic and indulging me or if I, just, that I did guess the correct way to coin that. I think you got it. Oh, it is. It is someone being a sociopath. Hooray! I mean, in theory, in theory you, you can survive on, like, eating raw meat. Yes. Oh, he also just, like, but when he was eating the maggot bread and stuff, he was like, Hey, yeah, it tastes kind of better, so what I do is I just crack a raw egg in there. He just cracks an egg and puts that in, and then mushes it around and swallows it. That can also be okay, but you gotta make sure your chickens don't have salmonella. Yep. Otherwise you're gonna have lots of problems. Yep, yep. So the only wholesome story, I haven't, I, I've watched the start of episode 2, I haven't watched all of episode 2, so, but so far the only actual wholesome one was a guy who likes pretending to be a mermaid when he goes swimming. So instead of like, actually swimming, he's got like a pretend tail and he, he met up with some like-minded people and they just pretend. And then they put on shows for like, kids and stuff and it seemed quite wholesome and then they get their mother to come I see him do it. That's... That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, I, I didn't see anything I mean, wrong with that at all. He didn't believe he was a mermaid or anything like that. He just liked doing it. And they put on shows for kids and like it shows a kid being like absolutely amazed thinking they're meeting a mermaid. It's all wholesome and then the mother watches and she cries. Like that was the only wholesome one. I mean, that's that's nice. Yep, yeah, that, that was they the feel good one. They people at Disneyland to play mermaids. That's also fine. <laughs> he should get a job with them. He'll get to live his dream. Yeah, he would have to see the sit in the water tank on shore. Yep. Yeah. There was another one who was. Oh, oh, no, don't on before I move on. I've gone through all my heat. Uh oh, he's gonna zap. Oh wait, no, one more charge and he's zapping. There was another one that was kind of wholesome. It was a weird thing, but the reason she was doing it was a bit of a shame. It was a much older lady, like forties, fifties and she liked pretending she was a horse but in the actual like pet play kind of sense but then it kind of goes into okay. the reasons why she's doing it and like she was a single parent and she was abused and all this horrible stuff so she didn't get to live an actual like fun Ooh. life and she gets asked like is it a sexual thing and she says no it's, it's playing because i never got to play so i'm doing it as an adult now that my kids are growing up so it's the only chance in her entire life she's had to like indulge just playing so it's a bit sad, but at the same time, it's also weird seeing her just like trot around pretending to be a horse. Also 
Where did the tail drop off? I forgot the car. Did uh, I? No, no you told me to, so you must have, yeah. Oh. Okay, good. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. That was magic pixel. Ah. You should chop me. I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting one. I'm trying to think. The almighty dog guy. We'll quickly look at maybe get the synopsis now, remind me. But was I'm surprised there wasn't a lady with hordes cats. I think that's considered far too normal. It wouldn't be class as extreme. I mean, if you have 50 cats, that's no longer normal. Yeah, that's true. That's a lot of lightning. Supplies have arrived, you say? Yep. That means we're doing badly because it's taking so long. I'm going to steal all the healing items, you say. Electro Doggo is no joke. I thought one more life out of that. I'm going to stick around until I take more damage. Ooh. Damn lightning balls. I remember why I dislike G Rangs and Ogre. So you're not gonna farm the, the Zap Dog. Well, there's. G -rank Zap. There's the Super Saiyan one. It's turning. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then a flying leap. Okay, let me just quickly check if I can get that synopsis. I'm sure I'm forgetting one. Oh no, we need to go one up and then jump down. That's where we need to go. Yeah, extreme animal accession. Oh yes, of course, how could I forget that one? I remember just from the picture. There is an 80 year old man who in America who since the age of like 50 or something has been making bespoke walking sticks and canes and such like out of bull penises. Out of what? Bull penises. Bull penises? Bull penises. Peni. Peni. Bull pen uh, the penis of a bull, which is apparently called, like, the pizzle, <laughs> as it turns out. Okay. Because it has, quote, like, them and his granddaughter all going like, oh, yeah, this is a long pizzle. This will make a great cane. And they <laughs> twist them and, and turn them into weird stuff. That's the point I got up to in episode two, actually, before I, I had to stop. That is it immediately went back. Odd, yes. Leave the witnesses alone. At least we're finding it. You know, use every part of the animal for something. Even that. Let's see. No, what I else. think that the bull peni has a has a bone in it, and that's what they use, not the fleshy bit. Uh, I haven't got to that part in episode 2 yet, but episode 2 has a part where someone takes roadkill and makes gourmet meals. Hey. That's not sanitary. Nope. I don't know why there's only two episodes of it. Like, did it get canned because everybody didn't like it? or They I... ran out of insane people. No, oh, that's impossible. Also, so I don't think it's a Netflix schedule. original. My car. It says a American documentary program, so I don't think Netflix made it. Yeah, I'm about a third of the way through episode two. Maybe it was just a pilot that didn't get picked up or something? There's two episodes though. Pilots are one. Stop. I wish I could scrub through the episode one just to see if there was anything else, but... Yeah, I think it lists all of them. Guy living his dog, person who eats raw meat, lady who dresses stuff in his, his insects. Yes. Or rather, dresses insects as movie and TV characters. I am going to finish watching the rest of the episode. I must, I must. I can't look away now with this deep. Got a Zenobra gem as well. Or 
or Sky Emerald or whatever his things are called. I think that's it. Silver Crown again, slightly bigger than the last one. Mm-hmm. We have time for one more hunt. Does Cyber have his urgent? <clears throat> Wait and see. Although that would be a long one because it's. Oh, Loesh, yeah. Wow. If he did have it, we should have done it a while back. Oh, there's always next week. <laughs> yes, unless the Witcher stuff finally comes to world. On um, PC, that is. He doesn't have it in the place. Okay, so fair enough. Um, in that case, let's go for... We've only done one of each Fade 4, right? Uh, I don't know if I want to go for Glavinous Armor or just wait and hold out for Barfar, because... Oh no, we didn't do G-Rank Tamamitsune. We'll do that then. Well, let's do that then. In the jungle. The mighty jungle. The lion sleeps tonight. Yes. I have everything I need, yes. Check the Twitch bounty board in the meantime. I was kind of hoping there'd be a risk of rain bounty, but there's not. At least not yet. <clears throat> I have two wanting me to show the same Dick Sporting Good commercial. Nice. That'll be a, a hard no here. to me. Yeah, it's not. We don't have them here. It's an American thing. Let's stream MLB The Show 19 for an hour. I have no idea what that is. Is that basketball? Um, no, baseball. Major, Major League, League baseball. baseball. Yeah. yeah. Alan might be in the cave or at the shoreline. Look, out of context, there. yes, I did say a hard no on dicks. <laughs> nice. But as a, if you're an American, you know the context, so therefore you can't make the innuendo. So if you get a European, European rather to jump in and make it, then I, that's fine. You're not American, god damn it. Hmm. Weird. I was expecting Tama to be here. On the island. Let's have a look he's at the knockoff island, <laughs> American? Oh, he's one of those Canadians. Yep, there it is. So, can Canada doesn't have Dick's sporting goods, is it? Yeah, but they're not innocent. They've got a, a car garage brand called Mr. Lube. Cut out there. I didn't oh. hear what it's called. Mr. Lube. I mean, is that so different? That's like a Jiffy Lube. Are we so different, you and I? Also, no, Jiffy Lube is also bad. You shouldn't have Lube in your name. Hmm. It's a sex thing. Oh, is Tema's G-Rank thing that it just gives you full bubble if you're hit once? Because I, I got full bubble from being hit once. Uh, she hit you with a, like, a big bubble, and that gives you the full bubble. It has stages. extra bubble powers. Yes. Also, you get taken to the... I, the fridge. I would have died there if uh, not for the Bushido wash, roll, thankfully. Multiple times. It's M it's Monsieur Lube in Quebec. Oh, because it's French Canadian. It's somehow worse. Ah. Leave me alone. Did nothing to you. No reason to take me to the washing machine. Oh, well, that's a G-Rank attack. When it goes up on its, like, hind legs ah. to pounce. It looks real weird when it's doing it, too. You'll know it when you see it, because it does not look supernatural. 
And I don't mean it looks, it doesn't look spooky, although it doesn't. I just meant it didn't look natural. It's not G rank Joe or anything, but it still doesn't look right. You ask too much. I've also been getting hit a lot. I need to get back used to dodging everything with Pajito. your bed again. Uh, kinda. He gave me Polar Bear who is missing most of his face. His face is deflated. Well, it could... She is not... she doesn't play nice with her toys. Is he eating oh, fish? He's eating fisk. Yeah, fisk. rank. Oh, it's, I guess it just does two in a row with it. It's the washing machine, I think. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> that was lucky. Uh, it was fairly close. You saved your life. You now owe me a life debt, Chewbacca style. That's how that works. Do you know how to fly a spaceship? You can ask the Star Wars tabletop crew if I used it. Oh no. Oh no, that's a potentially yeah. good thing. Are you, are you familiar with Star Trek Bridge Commander? It was a set of games uh, where you essentially ran the Enterprise and got into combat and stuff. I only played one of them, but it was pretty good. There was also, uh, more recently, there was like a Star Trek VR game where you and friends like ran the crew of the ship. Yep, yep, I've heard of that one. Okay, are you aware that there is a indie game that is essentially that that works? But it is very nerdy, and I think it's early access. But it works. So I have that on my maybe list for things to bring in at some point. Maybe when it's all in early access. I prefer my games done usually. Hmm. What is it called? Hang on. Well, first of all, Wolf Eyes TRK, thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime again for a total of 18 months. Our second Twitch baby name will be whatever that game is called that I'm about to go find the name of by double checking my wishlist because that's all I use my Steam wishlist for, keeping track of games I have my eye on. It is called... Pulsar Lost Colony. So let's just go with Pulsar for the Twitch baby. It's going to end up in a backyard dumpster anyway. There's so many Twitch babies back there, it's just a condo of dumpsters. <laughs> I see poop. No offense, sir. Nope. Better zone out then. Yep. There we are. Back in the tick. Wait, you're using my tail tail poops against me. I need to be pulling stuff in it. Ah, 
there has been a casualty. I showed the stuffing I found in the hall <laughs> to the camera just now. I think it was when she was knocking something around. Oh. There was a bunch of stuffing in the hall. I was showing it to the camera. Ah, I see. The toy has had its innards spread. <clears throat> Bubbles and lightning bugs. I'm sure this is a good mix. a winning combination. I only did one there and then transferred into a beam. Hey, he broke the claw. Nice. That is rare. Those were a pain in the arse to get. I don't miss, mean to shock you, but there was also shocking jelly on the floor. Probably from those lightning bugs. Got in his hand. The oh, torture. No. Going into the washing machine. Drift oh. through them. The healing bubble is taunting me by being too high to run into. Hmm, shocking. There was some jelly. Assuming any of you just went to look at the Steam page for that game, do you think that might be fun? Was it an early access? Yeah, yeah it is. I also say a little bit on the pricey side for both being an indie game and also being early access. But I have it marked and I'll keep an eye on it for maybe going on sale. Most of the chat is still probably it's shocked from looking up the Netflix show. That's also fair. Yeah, that's not something else people will watch You don't want to see the weirdo with the beetles? Or the weirdo eating raw meat? The raw, I raw meat is a bit funny, I feel. Yep, I would say a line was crossed. A line of food safety. Oh, I thought he was attacking one of you. <laughs> At least he was smart enough not to try it with chicken. So there was at least some sense. Yes. Some. He did, however, use raw eggs. Yes. Probably not from a verified salmonella or free source. No, just cracked them open directly into his mouth. But to be fair to him, it was to wash away the taste of the maggots inhabiting the rotten meat. <laughs> Well, there's an easier solution to chasing <laughs> with the wrong egg. If he wanted to, not... if he wants to liquefy the rotten meat, he puts it in jars. If he just wants rotten meat with maggots on it, he just leaves it lying around his shed. Jesus. Yep. Hello, Dozy. I'm afraid you've said hello during a month hunter section, so you're not liable to get many, if any, responses. As in Saturday's edition. You better limp away away from that trap. We want to end this peacefully escaping. now, would we? I know it's escaping. I'm okay with this. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up more shocking jelly. But don't be alarmed. Hmm. No, we had another trap. Stop him. I didn't have a trap. Not me you need to worry about. I only carry one. Did you oh, if you carried two, you might also have remembered that in this one you can break traps. Why would I do that? So you could instantly place another one. Sorry, right, shut up. You got me hit because I was staring at you crying at me. Almost done. It's almost dead. So you should have trapped it! Would have been dead by now if you trapped it. I 
the other back claw, I think. Apparently Pepper has that game on our watch list. Rip. Pepper didn't die. No, the, the Tama died. Yes, I know. I'm silly. Sorry, wanna come say goodbye to chat? Over here, this thing here. Are you trying to get more stuffing out of something? See, look here. This, this here. I think that's a no. He destroyed his trap. Some do. Is in not too bad condition. I think it got stitched once by my mother. But this was the one that was supposed to be indestructible, also. But it got destroyed. It got wounded. It's still got a squeaker, it still works. It's definitely durable, but definitely also not invincible. What was that I got there? Soul Steer 1? Oh, just the variant of Tama. Yes. Right. Soul Seer. Yeah, that's what the English name went with, huh? Well, to save YouTube listening to Sora Rick stuff, thank you very much for watching. This actually might make her stop because she'll listen to me saying this. Thank you very much for watching and ta for now.